Um, assuming you are as successful as you plan on being, um, field training officers, where are they going to come from? They would come from the rest of the department, specifically from um, traffic, current patrol, investigations, and crime reduction teams. We would leave, and we are committed to leaving, all 57 problem-solving officers in place. There currently are four uh, problem-solving officers who are former field training officers that might be impacted, but they would be backfilled. So I'm sorry, when you say you're going to take them from CRT traffic and investigation, are we disbanding all the CRT units? They, they would be, it, because of the way our contract works, it would be uh, probably likely that we would have to reorganize so that they would be uh, disbanded for a period of time and then reassigned or backfilled with other staff or uh, absent for about eight months. And it, she says this is unclear. <laughs> Go on, jump in. Because I'm clear on it, and that's why I'm asking. No, 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 but I think it's important that other people be. So go on and ask your question. Would we disband the CRT units? How, how did you even get into disbanding the CRT? Why would you disband the because CRT? Because you need to, under this plan, if we pass it, and I think it's important that people understand this. But he's not suggesting that this man thing. You're suggesting that where no, the no, no, is going to come I, from. I huh? think you ought to hear from the chief. We would need 90 field training officers. Currently, we have 36 field training officers. There are a number of persons who are currently assigned as field or as in crime reduction teams that were prior field training officers. We believe we can get the number up to somewhere around 60, which leaves us 30 short in order to accommodate this. Now, this is assuming that we're going to end up with, with um, a period of time in which we have somewhere around 90 people who need to be in the field training, in the field training program. There are a number of assumptions there. Uh, projecting it out, all the assumptions are true we would have to find an additional 30 field training officers. As it stands today, we would probably sit down and meet and confer with the, the Police Officers Association uh, in order to, to uh, ask for temporary uh, reassignments of those persons who are in some of those positions. The numbers of persons in the uh, crime reduction teams are currently uh, 48. Uh, they will eventually be going to 54 once this is done. We would be taking some out of the crime reduction team, some out of traffic, some out of investigations to acquire the additional 30 people. And, and that, and would be, that would be for an eight-month period maximum. And how, how would the determination be made um, to take CRT um, individuals assigned to CRT out of their respective teams. I know in my district, I wouldn't want to see my CRT team disbanded. They do a lot of work in terms of, of addressing some of the drug issues that we have. Um, I personally would not like to see that. I'm sure that my residents who are attending their neighborhood crime prevention councils who understand the function of CRT would not want um, the disbanding of that. So I'm just trying to understand what the criteria is that we're going to utilize to determine who's getting pulled. We would try to go across the city and, and keep the numbers in each CRT, each, each CRT as much as we can in order to get the additional 30 people. Worst case scenario, it would cause us to reorganize and re, um, restaff after the, reor after the, the uh, reorganization, those persons in the crime reduction teams, were we not to reach some agreement with the uh, bargaining unit. Can I ask you, how did you decide that the CRT team was the one to pull in, um, uh, as opposed to any other special unit within the department? It's, it's a combination of all of those persons who are available to be re reassigned. We're going to take them out of investigations. We're going to be taking them out of traffic. We're going to be taking them out of crime reduction teams. 
The only one that's not in play, or the only unit in the department that's not in play is uh, the, the problem solving officers. We will be looking at training. We will be looking at uh, the special or the support services division. Any place we can acquire the number of, of uh, field training officers we can to have the least impact on services being provided in the street. And how many people do we currently have in investigations? <clears throat> if you look at CID as being, or, or the Bureau of Investigations being two portions, one doing what we think of as the part one offenses, one doing the special victims, youth and family services, the total is about 95. And those actually doing investigations of crimes? What, yes. What, that it's 95. It is 95. Um, I was 